The triangle ABC shown in the diagram is such that AC is 9, BC is 10, ABC is 54 degrees, and the acute angle BAC is theta. Show that theta is 64 degrees, correct to the nearest degree, and B, calculate the area of the triangle ABC, giving your answers to the nearest square centimetre. So let's have a look at this then. So here, let's use the sine rule. 9 over sine 54 will equal 10 over sine theta to solve for theta, yeah? So 9 over sine 54 then is equal to the 10 over the sine theta. So let's move things around. Move the sine from divided times on the other side. Move the sine 54 up to be with the 10, similarly. And also, at the same time, move the 9 from times down to divide on the other side. So that tells us then what theta is. It will be shift sine, or sine, arc sine, sine to the minus 1, of 10 sine 54 degrees over 9. So let's work that out on the calculator. So it's shift sine, make sure we're in degrees mode, of 10 times sine 54, close that bracket, divide by 9, close the shift sign bracket equals 64.015, isn't it? 64.015. That should be sufficiently accurate. And that's equal to 64 degrees to the nearest degree. So that's what we got then for theta. Now calculate the area. So part B, uh, area, A, B, C is equal to half, B, C sine A, 10 times 9, times the sine of this angle here, which is 180 minus 54 and 64.015, isn't it? So we've got it in the calculator here, so let's add 54. And that's the total sum of these two. Take away 180, and that will be the remaining angle, won't it, without the minus? 61.985. So it's 61.985. That's the sine of that. So that's equal to then, that would be 5 nines of 45 sine of this angle. So let's tap that in the calculator. We've already got this number in there with a minus on it. So let's have a look at that then. Uh, here it is here. So, okay, we can get rid of that now. And it's 45 times sine of 61.985. That should be more than accurate enough. 39.72 to the nearest centimetre would be 40 centimetres squared.